For today's session, you're gonna need two tennis balls. If you don't have two tennis balls, you can do it without it, or come back to this one later on in the week when you have your hands on two tennis balls or two round things that kind of bounce, probably better. Why I love to use balls in my workout is because <laughs> You have to visually target the balls at all times. You have to be so present in what you're doing as well, otherwise you're not gonna catch the ball. So it's that hand-eye coordination, that presence, that focus, and that visual stimuli, which is brain boosting to switch way more lights on in your brain. So we're gonna do a lot of different things here. Let's get started. You're going to stand on your left leg for me, and all I want you to do is bounce right, left, right, I'll go side so you can see. So we are balancing and bouncing. Now you can have your foot at the back there if your balance is a bit shonky, but we are trying to train our balance as much as possible. Good, keep going. Soon we're gonna add double bounces here, just getting you warmed up, your eyes warmed up. Whoa! <laughs> it's all right, that's gonna happen. All right, double bounces. Try not to come off that leg. That's gonna to start to burn pretty soon. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, the burn. You'll notice I try not to put my foot down as much as possible because I want all the little um, unique movements in my foot and my knee and my hip. Right foot, left and right. You don't just have to do your lunges or your squats to activate the glute muscles. Balance is an incredibly effective way to do it as well. Let's double it up. You do this, or you do this for three sets of, I don't know, 30 seconds and your butt's gonna burn. Five, four, three, two, come on Elise, one, <laughs> burn. All right, let's go wide leg. Let's switch the legs out so we're kind of in that toes facing out position and we're just gonna bounce here with the hips and we're going to cross and catch. Cross and catch, stay low on those bounces cross and catch. So I'm doing inner thigh because that's an area that's kind of neglected. Inner thigh and eye. <laughs> We're doing inner thigh and eye today. Have you ever heard of that? Only from me. Inner thigh and eye, here we go. That's the bees for you. Can you reverse that? Whoa, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try reverse, I can feel my inner thigh. Oh, I can feel my eye. Reverse, reverse. Peripheral vision is an amazing eye exercise Ooh. to never lose. You use a lot of peripheral vision and this is a way to do it. Good. How's the inner thigh? Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. All right, one ball for the moment, a bit of a stibula. I've done this one before. See how you go with the dizzy component of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce, turn and catch, okay? All right, here we go. Ooh, you gotta try and catch it before it drops. That's all right, double bounces. I'm gonna go the other way. I do two one way, two the other way. Ooh, the other way is terrible. Come on. All right, I'm going back this way. Way better that way. Yes, no. Okay, I'm gonna get it this way. Yes. Sorry, that's my necklace on my microphone. Last one, Whew, who's dizzy? A little bit, 
a little bit dizzy and I've lost my other ball. All right, this time you're going to squat and throw against the wall. So you're going to get a good view here. <laughs> but I'm going to double throw my balls against the wall. Double throw. You can either just stay here and do that or you can come down in a squat. And then come back up. It's just changing, changing it up a bit. It makes things more interesting, more complex. Brain has to focus, attention has to focus. That's probably the biggest thing. We never focus our attention anymore on anything because we're pulled in so many different directions. Come back on up. Beautiful. All right. All right, here's a fun one. You're going to drop both balls, but kick in the middle of those two balls. So watch me for a second. Kick and around the outside of one ball. I'll slow it down for you in this video, but... What? Ooh, squat, that was narrow. Squat. You want to try and go as narrow as possible with the balls. <laughs> oh. Keep going. That's fun. <laughs> now you know what it's like working out with me. It's actually quite, damn it, I hit it. It's actually quite fun. Keep going, keep going. Coming back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> All right. This time, wide legs again. Place two balls down where your toes are. Now I'm leaning over using my left leg to pick up that ball. This leg is straight right leg and I'm bringing it over to the left, coming back, swapping here, here, touch, over, over, touch. So ideally we're just trying to bring those balls back to the spot. Here, push, Touch. One leg straight, one leg's bent. Good. Inner thigh working out here a little bit. Can you try and do this with your eyes closed? Imagine where that ball is. Yes. Yes. Good. Oh, oh, oh. It's actually very satisfying when you get the ball in your hand with your eyes closed. Keep going. Five. Four, three, you'll feel that in the lower back. That's okay. Two, one. I mean, we have to bend over, don't we? We have to lean down and grab stuff. So when you feel muscles working here, don't freak out. It means you're actually strength training these muscles as well. All right, last one. You're going to come into a lunge position. Lunge down. Now, whichever knee is out in front, you use the balls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the ball furthest away from me up into the air and try and catch it there. I'll come close, you can see. I'm going to throw it up and catch it in, in the back part of my hand. <sighs> it's actually quite hard. What we're doing here, left is hard. Let me show you with right. Much easier on right. But... We're taking a lot of hand coordination, which switches on more lights in your brain, and we're putting it with a strength exercise. So I'm coming down into a lunge, left lunge. I'm gonna pulse down here as I work on this move. Pulse. <sighs> left is gonna be so much harder for me because left is harder. Pulse, pulse. It'll take your mind off the, the lunge though, off the burn in the quad. 
good. Harder little things to do like this, more lights switch on in your brain. Five, four, three, two, can't finish on that one, one. <laughs> Other side, oh, burn. Then you get up and you're like, actually my leg's burning. All right, I'm gonna try right, last one. Right's way easier. So I'm gonna get lower on that lunge as I do my right hand. Fun, right? I wouldn't say this takes over every type of training session. I still run, I still box, I still do my normal lunges and squats and weights, but I like to add these little complex, unique things in, in between. So my brain's like, ah, oh, this is fun. And it's not just doing the same thing over and over again. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. I mean, it's like 30 degrees here, but I'm working. That's why I'm sweating, because things are working. Lots of bees are working up there. Blood, bone, beliefs, brain, and body. 